Bank of England because it's going to get a new governor in July. Mervyn King is making way for his Canadian opposite number, Mark Carney, who's uh, charging a lot more than uh, Mervyn King ever did and uh, is getting a housing allowance of £250,000, which isn't bad even for a central banker. Last year, um, he roused interest by suggesting that the bank's monetary policy target of keeping inflation at 2% could be replaced by a growth target. He's been taking questions this morning from the House of Commons Treasury Committee. In fact, the hearing is still going on, and he was asked earlier um, about his comments of growth rather than inflation. The response to remarks that I made uh, and what was read into remarks that I made um, suggests uh, an appetite, at least to me, for a proper debate about the monetary policy framework. Uh, I, I noted that the Chancellor said he welcomed that debate. Uh, the bar for change is high. I agree with that. The bar for change is high, but there should be that debate, a relatively short debate, uh, because I don't think uh, prolonged uncertainty about the framework is in anybody's interest, uh, and then either a reconfirmation of the existing framework or a change. That's the new governor of the Bank of England. He's a Canadian. He may sound like an American to you, but he did say a boot. Or hoose. That's always the giveaway. It must be the Scottish influence on Canada. That's how you tell the difference in their accents. Economic commentator Max Kaiser has been listening. He's got an American accent, but let's uh, go to him anyway. Uh, Max, what do you make of the new governor? Well, Mark Carney, his first uh, day in the job, he can start printing money to pay a salary, which is going to be in the millions and a very generous housing bonus. But basically, Andrew, I think we have to prepare for more inflation in this country. The bond market's already trading down on the Mark Carney words. The yields are moving up, and of course, this is the last thing they want to see. And you've got a real problem with inflation in the UK. They say it's 2.7 percent, but when you add in uh, factors like the real cost of food and energy, the fact that grocery stores are watering down milk, the fact that you've got a scandal with horse meat in the, in the hamburgers, that's an inflation story. It's substituting cheaper meat because there's an inflation problem. Mark Carney is going to exacerbate that problem. Grocery stores are watering down milk. Who's doing that? Well, this is a, we hear this anecdotally from different uh -huh. uh, food centers around the country that there's a problem with watered-down produce, the substitution in ready meals, and, of course, the horse meat, horse meat story yeah. is a big story. That's an inflation story. You're substituting a cheap meat for an expensive meat, and you're charging the same. The size of the portions are being reduced uh, and charging the same. So the real inflation in the U.K. is running 7 8 percent right now for the person on the high street. That's okay. what they're experiencing. So what do you make, then, with his idea, which he, I'm not necessarily sure he's going to do it, but he has floated the idea of replacing the 2% inflation target, which the bank hasn't met for about 60 months, with a growth target, an economic growth target. Well, this is a lot of central bank trickery because what they want to do is they want to show that the overall GDP is bigger relative to debt. So they're going to allow inflation to creep higher so they can print higher GDP numbers so that their bond rating hopefully will remain at triple A. Again, Carney is a... Uh, servant of the banks and the banking establishment. The average person on the street in the UK is going to experience higher inflation and they're going to experience a, a downgrade in their living standards. So, Matt, we know the new governor's a big fan of the daily politics. When he watches this on Catch Up on iPlayer after he comes out of the committee, give him one piece of advice. The new gov, tell him what he should do. He should resign immediately and let markets <laughs> set interest rates and get back to capitalism and free market capitalism. We don't want a central Politburo interest rate setting commie at the Bank of England. You want free markets. You want real markets. All right. I somehow feel...